everybody. Um, new video for you. I just wanted to talk to you about uh, some of the things that I've read. And I've talked a little bit before in other videos about um, some like religious texts that I've liked, that I have liked, and that I have read. And um, so I want to talk about the new book that I'm reading right now. And uh, that's <laughs> so if it, I'm only halfway through it and I'm kind of I just want to get some thoughts about it out um, so if any of you have read this book please you know comment down below um, so it's the lost book of the inky by like Alexander Stitchin or something like that I'll have to link it below because I don't remember um, so I've been reading this book and I'm like how the heck do they have such a complete story without any um, like holes in the story and if it's so ancient you know and I looked it up and it's apparently it's all based on the ancient Sumerian texts Sumerian texts which include the King's List which was found I think in Iraq 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 whatever um like I don't know fairly recently like I want to say within like the last 100 years but it's a really cool story, and I guess I was talking to my man about this last night, and he was saying, I was telling him about it, and he was like, oh, you're talking about the, um, uh, what is it, Gilgamesh, the ancient something of Gilgamesh, I can't remember what it's called, but, um, I guess it's like the same story or something, but, so this is supposed to be the oldest known creation story, and it is so freaking crazy <laughs> I'm listening to it like what the heck are you talking about like there's no way any of this is <laughs> true or whatever I'm not saying like I believe the book or anything like that but so I started looking up the different um sorry I'm like jerking in my car there's I was looking up the different uh sites that they're talking about in the book and I'm like holy shit these are actually sites <laughs> there's like artifacts they found from this place I don't know how those real those are but um it's a really crazy, interesting book, and I'm curious if any of you who watch my channel have read it, and also if any of you have a, um, any recommendations. I saw someone in my last video yesterday that someone had um, recommended a book. I haven't had a chance to respond to your, um, your comment yet, but I'm going to check your book out. I'm interested. Um, really, I love any book recommendations. I literally have a stack of like 10 books I'm supposed to be reading right now, but <laughs> as soon as I get through those, I'm going to be reading more. Um, I try to get uh, books on Audible to listen to all the time. I get a new one every month and then I'll listen to any of the free um, great courses or if they have uh, free other books, I'll listen to those as well. I really enjoy presidential um, biographies or autobiographies so as well. So if anyone has any great recommendations, I would love to hear them. Um, as far as religious texts that I have read, um, I'm just going to name the ones that I can remember and you guys tell me if you can think of any other ones that I should read. So let's see, I started with the Bible when I was a kid. My parents were very religious and so we, uh, they're very Christian, like evangelical. So I read through the Bible. Um, favorite book of the Bible is Revelation. I always thought it was really cool. <laughs> I've read 
did a little bit of kind of like the darker side of religion, um, like more occult type type books, but I prefer not to. I think a lot of them are. I think a lot of how we affect our world is based around ceremony and um, repetition and discipline and um, how our consciousness affects the world around us. And so when I think about occult type books, I think that it seems like what they're doing is ritualistic behavior in order to create a outcome through subconscious action. And which I think is, you know, in bene beneficial in some ways, but I think also it's in some ways not great for your soul because I think it's a lie deep down. Like you're like, ooh, I can do magic and I can change things when really what it is is you are in some ways influencing the world around you subconsciously but not um, reciprocally. Maybe. That might be a weird way. There's always like a something you have to give in return so I don't necessarily like occult books also if I read like I've tried to read some Aleister Crowley and I, this is the weirdest thing I get like a weird stomach ache every time I read it and I don't like it it makes me feel yucky so I don't I like just thinking about it makes me feel weird <laughs> I <laughs> well, I like cross myself <laughs> I had started reading um like 777 and I I feel like I got to like page five before I was like, oh, I want to throw up. I can't do it. Like I was, something was wrong with that guy's everything. I can't do it. Um, so <laughs> I have a problem. I, I read a bit of the, um, what would you call it? The Golden Dawn uh, type stuff. Like the, uh, they have a, a guy recommended to me the solo practitioner uh, Bible for the Golden Dawn uh and that was interesting. It's, it's a lot of ceremony as well. It'll tell you like how to do different ceremonies. And I was just like, that's interesting. And it has, I think, value in the amount of symbolism that you learn from it. Because a lot of times you can kind of decode what the ceremonies are trying to tell you. And I think that's very interesting. But I, it makes me feel icky. I don't, <laughs> and, you know, as childish as that sounds, I just, I don't like it. Um, it makes my soul feel dirty. It's like taking a yucky drug or something so anyway I don't like it uh, so I tend to say more on the other side of religion and um, I'm trying to think of what else I have right now I have my library in front of me but those are the type of books that I like to read oh I like to read um, I've been trying to because I'm very uh, European Western centric I read those type of books but I really want to understand the other side of the mentality which would be the Eastern kind of hemisphere type of religions. I had a friend of mine recommend to me the way of Tao I think it was there's like way of Zen way of the T-A-O something like that. I tried to read that one I got I like kept falling asleep it was super boring <laughs> to it. oh I read a lot of Buddhist stuff too as well um, I read the Bhagavad Gita and that was really interesting. Um, I thought it was super cool because like every time you read the words of Krishna, it sounds like, like I remember I got a weird fuzzy feeling like when I read the words of Christ in the Bible. I feel the same way. It's like, it's, I don't know if Christ is like the son of God. I don't know about that. I don't know what I believe, but it's, I don't get a yucky feeling when I read those. And I felt the same way when I read about Krishna. It was kind of like the same feeling, which is weird because a lot of people say that like the religions are linked, right? Krishna, Christ, and he, you know, it's, it's a very similar story. Um, in many ways, different in a lot of ways too, but I really enjoyed that book as well. It did not make me feel yucky, it didn't make me feel weird. So I don't know, like, I, I don't know if I, it's like a weird, like, intuition, weird woman thing, or fucking, I don't know. I'm not a religious person, so I don't know how I, how I would explain that uh, to make sense to anybody, but that one never made me feel weird. I liked it. Um, I felt, it made me feel good inside. So I, I, I like that one a lot. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I read a couple of different books by, like, Buddhist monks, who, I don't think that they were very, um, like, well-known monks, it was just kind of like, you know, through my training I have learned these things, and, you know, they, they'll kind of talk you through how they try to center themselves, well, like, you know, things like, I 
remember what one person, he said that when you're, say, washing your dishes, pay attention to everything that your hands do. And so it was, a, it's, it's, it was like a, a mentality training, like how to center yourself, center your mind. It was like a way of being rather than, you know, like a, a person to worship, really, um, which I, I thought was a really interesting um, religious pathway as well. Uh, I did a lot of meditating for a really long time, and I really, really enjoy it. Um, I haven't been practicing as much recently because I just, I've been quite depressed. Maybe that's why <laughs> I've been depressed. I haven't been meditating. But um, I find a lot of the Buddhist practices really valuable as well. So I just kind of like everything. I like exploring everything, and um, I like to follow a bit of intuition when I, when I read things. Um, and I don't, I'm not trying to talk down about any one religion or practice or anything like that. I just kind of follow what my heart tells me and what my gut tells me. Um, so, I hope I didn't insult anybody <laughs> with my thoughts. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, tell me your thoughts below and tell me if you guys have any recommendations. I would love to read more. I'd love to add to my library. I have a whole library of books in my house and I have a whole section. What is this guy doing? Bro, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> this guy's like half the length. Anyway. Uh, do, 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 do. What was I saying? I was saying something. Okay, hold on. Pause. Sorry, that was a little crazy situation I was driving through. Um, everything is fine now. Um, let me know what you guys think. So just give me your recommendations if you want to down in the comments below and like and 